In our last video, we used the Turk's Head workbook to tie a 12-part, 12 12-byte, 12 two-pass, type 1 standard pineapple knot. And there's the drawing for it. And we used these two run lists. This was the primary knot, which was a seven-part, six-byte casa knot. Then we tied a five-part, six-byte casa knot inside of it to make this pineapple knot. Today, I would like to tie this 17-part, 18-byte, three-pass, type one, standard pineapple knot from the seven-part, six-byte cost knot as our primary knot using this run list. So, well, let's just go over the whole title. It's a 17 total part, 18 total byte, three pass type S1, and the S is for standard. It's a standard pineapple knot, and we're gonna follow the right of the second knot. And X equals 13, which is the parts between the inside bites. The primary knot was a seven part six byte casa knot. The second knot is a five part six byte casa knot that was tied from bite boundary two and on the left and two on the right. Those knots are already tied that we tied in the last video and we'll just use that same knot. And now we're gonna add a third interweave which is also a five part six byte casa knot and we're gonna go from bite boundary three on the left to bite boundary two on the right. So you can see that we're going to go on under four to get into our knot because right there is going to be our bite boundary number three on the left hand side. Then we're going to follow this, the right hand side of our uh, second interweave, our second knot, and we're going to go between that bite of the second interweave and this outside bite of the primary knot. So we'll be on bite boundary number two right there. Let's, here is the knot we tied the other day. And we're gonna follow this run list. And it says under four, over two, under two, over two, under one. And up here, it's follow the right of the second knot. So the second knot is the blue knot, and the red is our primary knot. And you can see that our primary knot, which is our 7-6, is two parts bigger than the second knot, which is a 5-6. And now we're going to tie a second 5-6, and we're going to be inside it right there, and outside of this one right there. Okay, let's go under our four. So this blue one is over there, and here's our under four. One, two, three, four, and that puts us on the right side of our blue string. And now we're just following the blue string, the dark blue, over two, under two, over two, under one. And that puts us to our second bite boundary. Now, on line two, we go under one, over two, under two, over two, under two. Now we are following the blue going up. Now we're gonna go under one, and we're gonna follow the red going from right to left. So we're gonna go under one, over two, under two, over two, 
under two. And that puts us, and this is the thing that you've got to, to see is that we're on the inside. See these two bites right here? This is the primary bite and this is the second knot's bite. We are creating a bite on the inside of this dark blue, making a bite boundary right there. So we're on the inside of these two bites on the left hand side. And we're going under two, over two, under two, over two, under two. Well, we're on line two. Under two, over two, under two, over two, under one. Under two to get into our knot. Over two, under two, over two, under one. Now we're on line four. That's the one I read before. Under two, over two, under two, over two, under two. Now we're going under two. See our pair? This dark blue and light blue, that's our pair. We're going under two and splitting that pair. Now we're following the red string. And see how we, let me pull this up. See how we are on the outside of the blue and on the inside of the red, creating a bite boundary right there. So this is bite boundary one, bite boundary two, bite boundary three. We're creating a bite boundary between these two bites. Okay, we're following the red. Over two, under two, over two, under two. As I said before, we're creating a bite on the inside of the blue one on bite boundary three so we're right there and we're on line five under three over two under two over two under one see the red and the light blue they are a pair so we need to split that pair we go under three and split the pair and now we're following the dark blue strand over two, under two, over two, under one. Now we're on line six. Under two, over three, under two, over two, under two. We need to go under two and split this pair. Then we go over three and split that pair. And then we're just following our red string over two, under two. You really don't need a run list once you figure out that you're making an inside bite inside this blue one right here. And you're making a bite in between the two bites on this side and that you're following this second knot going up and the primary knot going down and then whenever you come to a pair you split your pair so you go under three split a pair over three split a pair and then under two over two under Now, we are right here. Under two, over three, under three, over two, under two. Under two, split the pair. Over three, split a pair. Under three, split a pair. Over two, under two.
Now, we go right back in that same hole that we've been coming out of, and we're doing under three, over three, under three, over two, under one. Under three, split the pair. Over three, split the pair. Under three, split the pair. And now it's just over two, under one. Okay. Now we're on line 10. Under two, over three, under three, over three, under two. Under two, split the pair. Over three, split the pair. Under three, split the pair. Over three, and, and, and we split a pair right there. Over three, under two. <clears throat> Okay, line 11, left to right. Under three, over three, under three, over three, under one. Under three, split a pair. Over three, split a pair. Under three, split a pair. Over three, one, two, three, split the pair, and under one. Now, I want to show you, if you'll see, this old drawing, this under 2x, put a little closer, under 2x, say you're just going under this one and that one, and that makes an x, that's an under 2x, and down here at the bottom, you're going under a 4x, you have two this way, and then two that way, that is a 4x. Now we get back to the top, we had an under 3x, we have an under 1 on this side, and under 2 on that side, that was a 3x. We get to the bottom, we have an under 5x. We go under 2 on this side, and then under 3 on that side, that makes the 5x. But if you're doing an algorithm diagram, you have to do it by half cycle. If you're doing a run list, it's easier to do it as from just one half cycle instead of doing this under one here and two there makes the three X or under this two and under that three makes the five X. The way we've been tying it, we're going under one here and then we do the two, but a three X would be that in one move and that can be quicker but then you really need to straighten out your bites because where you do it all in one move it uh, sucks it down into your knot okay we're on our last one under two which we already did over three under three over three under two over three, under three, over three, and see, right there would be a 5x. But see how we're clear down here and are not? If you come here, then here, your bite is in the right place. See how we got three nested bites? I gotta pull some string here though. Okay, that tied are 17 total part, 18 total bite, three pass because it's going over three and under three. Type one because we just our primary knot. We've only got one large knot. And the rest are all inside of that. So it's a type one because the knot that's on bite boundary number one is on bite boundary number one on the right hand side. I hope you'll try tying this knot and 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.